Hey guys, we installed this trailer wiring harness to a customer's vehicle about a month ago. The customer came back and said that his battery is dying. In this video, we are going to show you how to diagnose whether it was our trailer wiring harness or not. So first we're going to check the condition of the battery. As you can see, this is a very clean battery and corrosion does not play a factor here. Next, we're gonna check the date codes of the battery. In perfect condition, car batteries usually last between two to four years. If it exceeds that, you may want to tell your customer to get their battery replaced or looked at. So the date codes show that the battery is only a couple years old, so this is a pretty good battery. Let's go ahead and show you how to check for a parasitic draw. Before you use a test light to check for a parasitic draw, make sure that everything in the vehicle is shut off and the keys are not in the ignition. So let's go ahead and disconnect the negative battery cable. So we're gonna take our ground clip and clip it to the negative battery post. And then we're gonna take our wire tester to the negative battery cable and test it. As you can see, there is a parasitic draw somewhere in the vehicle. So I'm gonna check one more time to make sure everything in the vehicle is shut off. Quick tip, some modern cars take about 30 to 45 minutes to fully enter sleep mode. So this wire and this fuse holder is what powers our trailer wiring harness. What we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the fuse and we're gonna test again for a parasitic draw. As you see, there is still a parasitic draw. So that eliminates the factor of our trailer wiring harness being the problem. Okay guys, we have now determined that our trailer wiring harness was not the issue. So what we're going to do is recommend that the customer goes and see a local mechanic to test the battery. Thank you for watching. I hope that this helped.